Recurring postings in SAP Business One is a useful tool for posting fixed amount journal entries on a regular basis. To access recurring postings, go to the Financials module and choose Recurring Postings. Let's say, for example, you have a fixed monthly rent payment to your landlord. The first thing we want to do is assign a code for the recurring posting. Then, assign the description. You can also add the rental contract agreement number in the Ref1 field for reference. Now, let's assign the proper accounts. First, we want to add our bank account. Then, we also want to add our rent expense account. Every month, you pay $2,000 for your rent. Enter $2,000 into the credit field for your bank account, and then use your mouse to click into the debit field for the rent expense account. The system will automatically balance the entry for you. Now we can determine the frequency for this recurring posting. You can see we have a few options for flexibility, but for this example, we want monthly. We can also set the day of the month, but in this case, we'll stick with the last day of the month. The system will automatically determine the next execution date based on your selection, but this can be changed manually if necessary. We can also use the valid until checkbox to determine the last possible date that this recurring posting could occur. The system will let us know that the next transaction date is earlier than the current date. Choose yes to add the recurring posting. Hit Ctrl F on your keyboard to change the window to find mode. Enter the code for the recurring posting that you just added and hit the find button. Notice how the instance field says zero. This is because we have not posted this transaction yet. After we post this transaction for the first time, we will see that this instance field will say one and after the second it will say two and so on. You can also view all of the transactions due for posting. Click on the confirmation list. This report displays all due posting instances. If the recurring posting is not due, it will not show up on this report. You do not have to remember to open this report. Navigate to the general settings under Administration, System Initialization, General Settings. Under the Services tab, check the box for Display Recurring Postings on Execution. You can set this for all users. To set this on a per user basis, the user can go to the My Personal Settings icon and check or uncheck this box for themselves. Now, when you sign into the system, the report will display if there are any recurring postings that are due. Make sure to deselect the recurring postings you don't want to execute since by default they are all selected when this window appears. Then click Execute. We will then choose Add at the system message. Now, let's navigate to our journal entry window and go to the most recent record. Here we can see our journal entry for the recurring posting. Notice that the remarks field tells us that this is from a recurring post. We also have the option to add a journal entry manually using the recurring posting template. Put the journal entry window into add mode and then select recurring posting in the template type dropdown. You can then select the rent template the information will auto-populate, and then you can add the journal entry. Recurring postings is just one way among many in SAP Business One that help you be more efficient in managing your financial processes. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance. Mm -hmm.